I'm Sherry Kay, award-winning pianist, composer, and national cooking contest finalist. I'm also known as the Jazzy Gourmet, because when I'm at home, I like to jazz up my meals, and now you can too. I love zucchini. I love it in so many different ways, either grilled or sautéed or raw, chopped up in a salad. And I'm really lucky that here in Indiana, zucchini is really plentiful and I get an abundance of it from both friends and family. And boy, wait till you see the size of our Indiana zucchini. Hey, hey, what do you think of that? Well, when you get one this big, it just calls for you to make some zucchini bread. So that's what we're going to do today. But I'm not going to make traditional zucchini bread in a loaf pan. I'm going to make blueberry lemon zucchini bundt cake. So in order to make it, I start out with two different bowls, one for dry ingredients and one for wet ingredients. In my dry ingredient bowl, I already have three and a half cups of flour. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of baking soda. And what's really important about this dry ingredient bowl is that you mix all of those ingredients. I just use a whisk. I whisk up those ingredients so they're really, really incorporated well because let me tell you, there's not a whole lot worse than biting into a piece of zucchini bread only to get a big hunk of baking soda or a big, big hunk of salt. It's just not appealing at all. So I make sure that I have that all mixed up really, really well. Okay, so that's my dry ingredient bowl. In my wet ingredient bowl, I already have four eggs that have been beaten really well. To that, I'm going to add three cups of sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, two thirds of a cup of water, and one teaspoon of lemon juice that I have both here in this bowl. Now I'm going to take my same whisk that I used in the flour and make sure that that is mixed really well too. After I've mixed my wet ingredients, I want to incorporate the dry ingredients into the wet. Now what's really important about this is that you don't want to mix it a whole lot just until everything gets incorporated nicely because if you mix it too much then your bread or your cake is going to be too tough and you want it to be nice and tender. Once I've mixed all of this together I'm going to add my zucchini. Now some people prefer to peel their zucchini before they put it in. I like to leave the peel on for a few reasons actually. One, I think the color looks kind of neat in your bread. The other is that a lot of our nutrients are in the skin of the zucchini. And the third reason is it eliminates one step in your cooking process and I'm all for that. Next I'm going to add my blueberries. Now to make sure that my blueberries do not sink to the bottom of this batter, I have coated them with a little bit of flour. I sprinkled it over the top and combined it before I put my blueberries in my batter. And finally, some freshly grated lemon rind. How much of that? Well, I sprinkle some over the top, I fold it in, and I see what it looks like. Do I see a lot of flecks of that bright yellow color? Then there's enough. If I don't, then I add a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take my butt pan. Most of the time when you make quick breads or cakes, the recipe calls for you to grease the pan and then flour it as well. I like to eliminate the second step by just using a cooking spray that already has flour in it. So I've already sprayed this pan. I'm going to pour the batter into the pan. and then pop it in the oven. After baking my cake in a 350 degree oven for about an hour or until a knife inserted in the middle comes out clean, I put the cake in the pan on top of my cooling rack for about 10 minutes. After letting the cake cool in the pan on the cooling rack, Remove the pan from the rack, put the rack on the top, and invert it. And at this point you do the happy tap. All the time thinking how happy you will be if your cake comes out in one piece. enough happy tapping. Let's see how she comes out. Ha-ha! Pretty darn good. Look at that. Blueberries all the way through that beautiful moist. You can tell how moist it is by the way it glistens. Can't wait to cut into this baby. Let the cake cool outside the pan on the cooling rack for a while. And then if you can stand to let it cool long enough, give it a slice. Oh my gosh, it is just so moist and tender. And loaded with those blueberries and I can smell that fresh lemon rind that I put in there. That makes a world of difference. Look at that. Whew, see those luscious blueberries? floating all the way through it. That is blueberry lemon zucchini cake. Mm -hmm.